As a response to Romanesque architecture came the birth of French Gothic architecture. French Gothic architecture, which emerged in France in the early 1100s, quickly spread throughout France and Western Europe and dominated until mid-16th century. This new form set the stage for Gothic architecture all around the world, making a great name for itself, while inspiring countless other countries to attempt to imitate its great art form. Looking at French Gothic architecture precedents, it's important to note Romanesque architecture. Romanesque architecture dominated Western Europe, and more specifically in France, this form of architecture was prevalent in many of the country's churches. Some ornaments that we liken to the Romanesque form would include naves that were often covered with a barrel vault, walls that were thick and stabilized with massive buttresses located on the outside. The number and size of windows was limited and the interior of the buildings was decorated with colorful frescoes. Later on, as Gothic tradition started to take over, however, we didn't see this as a form of rebellion to Romanesque architecture, but rather an evolution that was inspired from Romanesque traditions. While the diffusion of technical innovations made construction work more productive, we start to notice the first Gothic buildings which appeared around the early to mid-1100s in a region of France known as Picardy. Some of these first Gothic cathedrals and abbeys included iconic buildings such as the ones pictured above. These buildings named saint Etienne de saint Abbey of Madame, and Abbey of St. Denise. What made these first religious buildings stand out from Romanesque architecture was structural and ornamental elements such as large stained glass windows, pointed arches, ribbed vaults, flying buttresses, and ornate decorations. Featuring meticulously cut colored glass, these kaleidoscope windows, which are typically either tall or arched lancet windows or round rose windows, are larger than those found in other types of churches. Rather than the wide rounded arches, which are characteristics of Romanesque buildings, architects working in the Gothic style adapted the tall, thin, pointed arches, which are most commonly found in Islamic architecture. This silhouette accentuated each cathedral's height, symbolically pointed toward the sky, and accommodated similarly shaped vaulting. In order to incorporate higher ceilings and taller windows into their designs, Gothic architects utilized a new method of structural support called ribbed vaulting. Flying buttresses ensured the cathedral's integrity so that the architects did not need to sacrifice the thin walls and large windows distinctive of the Gothic style. Last but not least, the last distinctive feature of French Gothic architecture is ornate decoration. These include embellished colonnades and colonnettes, sculptural moldings, statues of saints and historical figures, pinnacles and spires, gargoyles and grotesque figures that double as water spouts.